So you're looking to build your first camp in Fallout 76. My best guess is you can't find the right place to settle. Well, in this video we'll talk about everything you need to know about building your first camp. When you first start your journey, you will have only a small fraction of the hundreds if not thousands of plans that you can learn to build new wacky structures. That's why I'll be making a guide on how to get most, if not all, the plans in the game. So subscribe so you don't miss out. When starting your first camp, it's best to understand it's not going to be pretty, nor will it be completely functional. Seeing that you'll be missing a few of the crucial plans, such as the Tinkerer's Workbench, Chemistry Station, Power Armor Station, and even the Bruin Stand if you're looking to get a little saucy once in a while. But have no fear, the basics are the easiest ones to get. The Tinkerer's Workbench and the Chemistry Station plans can both be found randomly throughout Appalachia, so keep an eye out for those little red folders. And the Power Armor Station is awarded upon completion of the quest Minor Miracles or simply at the vendors displayed. Before you build a camp, you should keep in mind that the perk contractor unlocked at level 18 in the intelligence perks will reduce the material cost of building by 50%, saving you junk if you're running a little low. Another perk you may want to consider is home defense unlocked at level 22 in the agility perks. This perk allows you to build better gun turns with each level. So what are some benefits of having a camp? For starters, there are some craftable machines that generate useful items that regenerate AP, such as the coffee machine and the company tea machine, the latter of which is currently unlockable as a reward at level 25 of the current season, the Big Scores scoreboard. Once you find or buy the plans from the item shop, there are also many interactable items you can create to gain buffs. These are very useful as they are free and all you need to do is visit your camp periodically. Another useful thing you can do is build crops to make food for sustaining your hunger and thirst, but more importantly, getting buffs from all the plethora of foods. If you place your camp near a material node, you can build material collectors so you can just harvest junk and scrap while you're doing more interesting things. Of course, you can use your camp to express yourself, relaxing while enjoying the beautiful creation that you've built. But they also are a great point for fast travel. Some may not have thought this, but free players can use their camps as a substitute for Fallout First's tent system. For the price of 40 caps, you yourself could drop down your own custom tent, if given the right amount of area, of course. The tents themselves have a weird boundary issue anyway, so 40 caps is not a bad deal. The key to successfully doing this is creating a simple enough blueprint to drop down with everything you need stored within the camp itself. If you are building more of a permanent camp, my personal tips are to always settle near a source of water, seeing that you will need to boil water to make cook food and drinks. My personal camp's location has a raider that spawns nearby for some added security. If you are low level, settling somewhere in the forest will be your best bet as not a lot of high level enemies spawn to interrupt your peaceful camp life. Your camp will periodically come under attack from enemies and NPCs through a random event. Mine seems to be triggered every time I log in and fast travel to my camp. So the more you build, the more you will have to repair if it gets destroyed if you don't have the proper defenses. Keep that in mind if you don't plan on having a lot of junk to repair things. To build a simple structure, I got the barn kit as a drop from claiming and defending workshops but the basic kit will work just as well. I started off by placing a 1x2 floor down and adding walls and roofing. This small size should be easy enough to defend while being big enough to place everything you need to get started. You will need a weapons workbench, an armor workbench, a stash box, a cooking station, a sleeping bag if you want to get that 5% XP buff once in a while. After some time in the game, you will acquire plans such as the Tinkerer's workbench for crafting grenades, ammo, and other miscellaneous items a chemistry station for creating chems, and a power armor station for creating and repairing power armor. If you don't have these benches yet, you can always travel to White Springs for free to use theirs. After building your simple structure, you may want to place at least some level 1 turrets down just to help out if any unwanted guests want to come ruin your beautiful home. A few last notes are, claiming a workshop for the first time will award you with many plans that will help you out at your camp. Even if you don't use the workshop after claiming it, such as resource extractors and generators, which are definitely necessities. There are already constructed items, usually obtained from the atom shop, called prefabs. These structures can range from tiny shacks 
to gigantic mansions. While they are pretty to look at and easy to throw down, they have a separate mechanic from normal structures where parts of them can be destroyed. I hope this video teaches you everything you need to know about your first build in Fallout 76. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching.